a YouTube. So I got my hands on a Shimano GRX 812 rear derailleur. This is the one that suits the 11 to 42 cassette. And I thought I'd do a quick unboxing because there's very little information on this new Shimano GRX stuff out there at the moment. So looking around the box, you can see it's ticked for the uh, 42 tooth max cassette. Um, the box is quite nicely presented. Um, nothing special, but you know, it's, it's pretty nice and it's got some sort of gravelly details on the front. Let's crack the box open and see what's inside. Um, opening it up, you're first presented uh, with uh, some information about how to recable your bicycle for this particular rear derailleur, the cable is included. So, opening the flaps, we're presented with the GRX uh, derailleur. Um, this is a typical Shimano presentation with um, the cassette wrapped in cling film against the packaging to constrain it. The bottom of the box, we have a cable with the ferrules present on it. So, it's a um, you can do the instructions on the front and there's some small instructions here that basically tell you to look on Shimano's website instead of um, providing you instructions so pretty simple if you have the internet if you're not you're screwed so let's get rid of this box and have a look at the derailleur I love uh, the way Shimano packaged the derailleur it's so efficient um, there's just a bit of this shrink wrap attached to the cardboard and uh, it gets tension when you fold up the box super clean and efficient compared to the ton of plastic SRAM usually gives you it's much better so on to the actual derailleur first impressions are really good there's plenty of that infamous uh, and great fluorescent yellow Shimano grease clutch seems to operate fine and uh, let's engage it and have a go with that yep it's really stiff it's good quality as this is the effective um, Ultegra level uh, of the GRX, the 800 series, the, um, the jockey wheels have ball bearings in them so they're, they're rotating relatively smoothly and freely compared to the bushed bearings you find on the lower end. This is one of the big perks with um, the higher end Shimano stuff, you get ball bearing jockey wheels rather than just bushes. Um, it's a Shadow Plus type derailleur. Um, I quite like the way they're doing the barrel adjusters on the recent Shimano stuff as well with just sort of one little um, bit on the barrel pointing out so it's easy to track how many rotations you've given it. So yeah, initial impressions of it in hand, it feels really rather good. Um, it feels like a proper high quality Ultegra level uh, derailleur. Right, I'm just gonna spin this around in front of the camera because that bit felt a bit short. Um, I'm fairly sure that the lower jockey cage is made from aluminium feeling, from the feel of it. Uh, I don't think it's steel. I need to get a magnet and try. But um, yeah, no cage lockout like the SRAM stuff does. That is one of the big perks of the SRAM. Um, the, yeah it all feels really rather good like I say shadow plus and it's got a new barrel adjuster with a single point on it the B tension screw looks fairly long so hopefully we might be able to hack it to do more than a 42 cassette um, made in Japan as well it's not one of the um, externally produced one it's some Japanese high-end rear derailleur I quite like this sort of um, I don't know what you call it sort of a gunmetal chrome finish on the actual um, the cage up the top there I think that looks pretty sweet I think uh, yeah that's about it let's put it on the scales and see how much it weighs and place the derailleur on and it comes in at a weight of 266 grams and I have no idea if that's good or bad because I can't um, find any weight on the internet for it so that's it for this video guys Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.